Hey guys, Anthony Piacibona here back with another market update. We're doing a midweek market update. I'll do another one on Sunday after the week ends. It's Thursday. Looks like we're having a trend day down at the moment. Uh, previous videos, well, I said that um, we're looking for more downside at this point. I mean, we put in a high or we're going to sweep the highs one more time on S&P 500. As you see here, just as soon as we open 930, trending down. And if we take a look at futures, let's go more to the one hour chart. What we've been taking a look at is we put in this high here at around the 4200 area and then came up, got rejected, came up again on when Jay Powell spoke to stop out shorts. And they actually stopped out shorts twice, which is really great uh, to see because we had the spike and then a big crash under the recent lows to 4100. So stopping out longs and then another spike. Boom, sweeping the recent high because a lot of shorts thought, oh, look, we're making this downtrend. Let me put my stop above this one. Boom, stopped out of the shorts. Ever since then, trending down. Now, I personally thought that we would sweep the highs one more time. But since we didn't do it here with j -Pal, I actually am starting to believe that that was the high there last week. And um, we made our high here Tuesday. And now Thursday, we are trending down. Looks like... Friday most likely going to be a red day. Uh, if it is a red day and we close below about 410 on the SPY, then I'll be even more confident that that was the high and we're going to continue lower. Obviously, we could have one more spike to stop our shorts. Like I said, at the 4250 area, that's what I was watching. But for now, it looks like we're, we're likely due to trend down back to sweep those recent lows, I said, at the uh, 3800 area. So if we go back to the daily chart on futures, even on the daily chart, you can see we've been having these lower highs turning down. But you know, a lot of people, if you're looking at shapes and patterns, people say, oh, we're, we're bull flagging, we're gonna break out higher. Everything is confirming, you know, we still have the dollar strong, dollar pulled back and is pushing back up again. And then same indicator with HYG, uh, really dumping below. I have an alert set for 75.70 on HYG. If we break and close below 75.70, then that's our signal that we're definitely going to be seeing uh, S&P 500 below 4,000. So we're going to see how this day ends. The first half of the day have been trending down. We could just start to rally into the close and then have kind of an indecision candle to end out the day. That's what I would think would be most likely just to make people be even more unsure. But what I'm looking for is Friday tomorrow is if we break the uh, 4119 area or if we close below 4119 Friday tomorrow on uh, yes then we have confirmation that we put in the high and now we're trending lower and we're going to start taking out uh, the lows all the way down to about 3800 but my first profit target for shorts is the 3950 area so I'd like to see price Essentially, on the daily chart, what I think is going to happen is we're going to see price chop around, obviously trend down. It's not going to look exactly like this because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. But eventually, by the end of uh, end of March, we're going to be getting down to the sweeping the lows to the left at uh, 3,800. In terms of the trades that I took today, I actually took a short on NASDAQ this morning once we pushed up on the open. So basically... We we're up huge on the open, trading around that 12,700 area, sold off on the open, and then the next candle exploded back up and traded into the resistance to the left here, and traded all the way up to about uh, 12,700, but I got in short, uh, it's 12,690, and I was targeting the liquidity to the left here uh, overnight about 2 a.m., so I was targeting that we would sweep these lows here, we come down to the 12,600 area before making the new high, because I was bearish, and we were up huge. After we made this bar here, came up, traded into resistance to the left, stop was new high, and target was new low to the left before seeing that new high. So it was a two to one. Uh, it was a really good trade on my end. This week, haven't been trading much, just been watching and seeing that my swing short position is going to be still okay, seeing I've had to close it out or anything, but we're just keeping that and then taking trades on the five and 15 minute chart, uh, about one trade a day, two trades max, but usually one, one good setup in the morning, and then I kind of call it a day and do uh, do other work. So at the moment, we're seeing the VIX is green while ES is green and NASDAQ is green. So typically when that happens, if, if we close like this, then the next day, one of them is wrong. So likely more a red day going to be tomorrow. But again, we're just watching, seeing, continue to trend down. 
No reason to fight the trend all day as soon as we opened 930 4165 down to 4130 so 30 points down but again it's 12 o'clock so sometimes when the earning the morning session is a downtrend then you can actually see an uptrend from about 2 p.m into the close sunday 12 p.m i'll do another market recap update of the full week and we'll see how we closed out the week give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it let me know in the comments down below what you want to see more of thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one